What's going on guys? Thanks for stopping by and welcome for today's test video. What the f Съедно падаш от небето или да намираш или някак си изнадваш се как и дъжд тук е. Падна. Какво правиш тук? Хубаво. Ай. Ще стане. Окей, гайс, аз съм сел, от моят първи видео, аз получих една бокс от Хънгари, от моят мен, Грег и... Да, днес ще се пътваме всички неща, които не имаме с моят брат. Да, той ме отново. Не знаете, че ме отново. Не, те ме отново много, в общност, много от мен. Go on. One thing though, as I said in the video, I found the Milka Choco Brownie, the brand new Milka Chocolate, and I decided, let's add it to this taste test. There's not much more to say, give a like to the video and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Let's get started. Are we going to pronounce the Hungarian names? If you want to. Actually, you know, it's a cool idea. We're gonna try to pronounce it in Hungarian and then with Google Translate, with the voice uh, translation, we're gonna see how Google pronounce the word in Hungarian. Let's not do it for all of it. This is not gonna be Just the more complex ones. So we're gonna start with something complex. With this one. So Greg loves coconut. I think that's clear from the unboxing. I'm in love with the coconut. <laughs> you try it first, then we'll okay. see. I tried in the video, but I think I didn't say it right. So, Kokuzos Semege. Yeah. It's your turn. How did you pronounce Kokuzos? I don't know. Hmm. Kokuzos Semege. Semege. Kokuzos Chemege. Kokuzos Chemege. Chemege. Not even close. Now let's give it a try. This looks. Sugary. You see, it looks like it has some kind of filling. It looks like kind of a rice cake. You know, the Japanese have like rice cakes. Like, ah, ah, forget about it. Are you gonna take a bite or bite? Guys, chill. We are brothers. Twins. Don't smile before me. Okay. I think it tastes like a food. No way. Wait, wait. Does this not taste like lukum? No. <laughs> yes, no. <laughs> There's... You know this lukum that has coconut around it? I was thinking that there was something in Bulgaria that was similar. But here's a lot more coconut. Super coconutty. Super sugary. But wait, do you love coconut? I can eat it all day. Don't worry, all of this has coconut. I like it. I really like it, actually. It's not my favorite, but I'm gonna give it an 8 out of 10. Too much coconut, 7. Still I, like it. You said you can eat it all day. Too much is not good. <laughs> <laughs> Next, um, something without coconut. And without translation. Kinder cards. Here's how one of the cards look like. A oh, card. Yeah. Card like a card. Card. Oh. Like... Oh. Like belot. So it's supposed, I think, to have like a filling inside. Oh, uh, we shall see. Yep. Oh my gosh. 10 out of 10. 10 out of fucking 10. Basically a kinder with a waffle. They, that's the difference. Well, that's basically it. It's like a super milky chocolate and the wafer was... Mmm, Italian. We, mm, Italiano. How do you make this Hungarian? <laughs> sure. Ratings. A eight. Like, it was tasty, but felt similar to something that I have tasted already. My brother for you guys. So he sent me a few things from America, uh, like the Hershey Kisses, we've had that, that's like just chocolate. And the other thing is this peanut butter bones. My brother is looking at his phone like, like this is like when he's at school. He doesn't want to listen to the teacher, that's why he's playing. On. My friend, we're tasting stuff from Hungary. Done. Be respectful. So peanut butter bones. It looks bad. <laughs> it has a peanut butter filling, I think. Oh, this was brown. Mm, you know what? This smells like. Tell me what it smells like. If this tastes like I think it will, that's a definitely five. Take, take, take a bite. Lift it. Push, push. Shh. Exactly. 
101. No five seconds. It was Crucius? Yeah. No. Yeah. We have like those bonbons, you get to suck on them. <laughs> That's what she said! <laughs> I didn't suck on them. And in the middle you have like this powder. This tastes exactly like that. To me it doesn't taste like peanut butter at all actually, but yeah. um not a fan. Three out of ten. I think this is the lowest rating I've ever given to something. If this tastes like Hrusus, I'm gonna give it a 5, so... 5. Back to Hungary. I think this will be an easier one. Are we gonna try to pronounce? Yes. Here it is. I think, as said in the video, it's a, like, cookie covered in uh, hazelnut uh, chocolate. I think it's really straightforward. It's Baren Tadzen. I think with those two dots above the A, it should be pronounced Beren Tadzen. Let's see. I think I was closer. Anyway, let's give them a try. Yep, it's cookies. Here they are. Cocoa biscuits, cookies covered in some milk chocolate. Smell. It smells nice. It smells like a... It smells kind of fruity. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my gosh. I have to reconsider our life. Oh yeah. Chewy dough. Very good taste. I like it. I give it a 10 to this. It does not taste like hazelnuts. I have to say that. Great but thing. the texture is like a soft baked cookie. Like the moment you bite into it, it, it gets like a dough, like a mash, like... <laughs> it's super delicious, guys. Really chocolatey. I give it a 10 out of 10. Me review. <laughs> Next, let's try something from Switzerland. It's a Kagi bar, Kagi fret. Oh, it, I think it comes in sticks. Oh, okay, it's not a chocolate. It's a wafer bar. It has two sticks like that. It's gonna be a simple wafer bar, but let's see. Yeah, a good wafer bar though. It's on the level of my favorite wafer bar, Borovet. I give it an 8.7 out of 10. I give it an 8.75 out of 10 okay let's try this lint i'm really excited to try it this is lint hello hello i've been waiting for it did he stop <laughs> here it is it comes like in a long stick lint chocolate amazing Wow. I think there's a uh, milk chocolate that has something similar. It's this milk chocolate, but in the cookies and cream flavor. Well, I think it's something similar. Still, very great. Not something like we haven't tried. I give it a 9. I give it an 8.75. <laughs> Let's go back to Switzerland. Ragusa Classic. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this bar. Huge chunks of hazelnuts inside. Take a bite. I think I'm gonna love this. Oh my god. It tastes like sushi bonbons. It tastes like toffee fee. It tastes like toffee fee. It is. And, and, that's and, and sushi. 10 out of 10. Oh, this means 8.75. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. 8.76. Let's try this. Is this with lemon? You'll be surprised with what it is. First time I said it's tilly, but it's actually tibi. And this is... Turo Citron. Turo Citron. Where did you see the E? In my voice. <laughs> this is from Roshen. I don't know if in Ukraine they have it, but Roshen is an Ukrainian brand. And this one is with tvorok and lemon, aka cottage cheese, something like dry cottage cheese and mm. lemon filling. Oh, the gains though. It comes in mini sections like this. Mmm. See the filling? That's awesome. I don't know if I'm a fan. It's almost like a cheesecake. Chocolate and cheesecake filling. Never tasted a cheesecake. Yeah. I give it a 9. 0.5 out of 10. <laughs> Just don't say it, but don't say it. Next, let's try some cookies. 
Oh, is this with pudding? No, it's with cream brulee. So basically, pudding. Cookies with cream brulee filling. Oh, I think it's getting color. It's getting hot in here. Oh yeah. Here they are, the cookies. It is a caramel. Kind of disappointed. I expected a lot more of those. They are nice, don't get me wrong. But not something I'd go for. If I have to pick. I'm gonna give them... 7... 7. 7 out of 10. I tasted too much of the caramel. The biscuit was good, the chocolate was good, but I didn't taste really taste the cream and I really like cream brulee. We like the cream brulee. Like the, the main part, we don't like the caramel part. I do like it, but only when it's liquid. Really nice, not the thing I expected. 7.01. Thank God. <laughs> Let's try the Toblerone. Uh, can we try the Toblerone? Before? Yeah, but this is with almonds. Oh my God! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Toblerone with crunchy almonds and I think sea salt. Salted caramelized almonds. Oh, and almond nougat. So this oh. is different. Oh. Your typical Toblerone. Do you know how to break a piece of Toblerone? I think it's like that. No, the opposite is like, push it. <laughs> this is the idea of the right way for my brother. I've seen it in Mind Geek. <laughs> I think we're gonna have more. Here's some midsection before we start. See the almond inside. I love Toblerone. I think I'm gonna love this. How can you go wrong with Toblerone? 9 out of 10. I really did taste the almond. Actually, I have like the a little salty aftertaste right now. Yeah, this is the thing I didn't like. The saltiness? Yeah. Weird. I give it an 8. Let's get done with the cookies. Mini Karika Dupla Cacaos. It says cocoa rings semi covered with cocoa mass. So, chocolate covered cookies. I think we have something really, really similar. Here they are. It smells like Tereleshki. <laughs> 3, 2, 1. It looks like mini donuts. Mm. It's like very dark chocolatey. A lot of cocoa. I think that they will go well with coffee in the afternoon. Yeah, they are really dry, crumbly. But without something to drink, they're not really anything special. Not my favorite. Not his favorite. I'm gonna give them a 7 as well. He gave them a 7. He too. We have two Balaton bars, both with coconut. You open this one. Oh. Oh, it's white chocolate. And this one is our chocolate. Oh. So, cheers. Mm. But this, this doesn't taste like coconut to me. This tastes like coconut. Depends in what mood you are. This tastes like a very strong vanilla with maybe a hint of coconut, dark chocolate, almost like a brownie with coconut. 8.5, 8. I'm not big on the wafers. This tasted like coconut, this didn't. Exactly the opposite as he said. But this one's way better. I have, I think that we have a Mura with white uh, with, layers, yeah. With white layers and black wafer. I think it tastes similar. And this, also, I've tasted something similar, I can't remember the name, still, uh, this was way better, it got me, I'm sick and tired of chocolate, but 9, possibly 7.5, because I didn't like it that much. Now let's try the Balaton Boom, three flavors, Balaton Boom, or should I say, Lion. Let's start with the original. I'm interested if they taste the same as Lion. They taste the same, maybe the chocolate's not the same. It's Nestle chocolate. The peanut. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Strong peanut flavor. The white. The bites. Mmm. Mm -hmm. They're pretty similar, guys. I think they're basically the same. I taste a little bit of difference in the chocolate, but I can't say without comparing them. So, my rating. 10 out of 10. Actually, I do love the peanut one more than the original right now. So, 9.5, 9. First place, 
nine. Second place, eight point five. Then on third place, eight. But a hard one. I didn't like Bare, it. Barely eight. But barely eight. Не указывай така. But barely eight. But barely. 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 I give it away. <laughs> now, we have two Botsy. Botsy. Chocolate bars, both with coconut. One is coconut cream and caramel chocolate. And the other one is milk chocolate with coconut shreds. The milka and the tilly. Uh, tibi. With strawberry cream. Botsy with the coconut cream. Botsy chocolate with the coconut shreddies. Tibi with strawberry cream inside. And milka with the cocoa cream and the cookies. Let's go with team coconut first. Smells, Smells like, like coconut, yeah. Super creamy. Super sweet. Yeah. The coconut shreddies. Mmm. That's awesome. I love the texture. Yeah. It's not crunchy, but it's almost crunchy. Really smooth, but more like a dark chocolate. Yeah. Now, the strawberry filling. That's from my brother. Yeah. And now the moment that probably most of you have been waiting for. The Milka. I'm really excited to compare this to the original Milka Oreo. Yeah. <laughs> I love this one. Oh my gosh. Guys, don't imitate me. Guys, this is amazing. I'm gonna start with this one. It's like a, a super rich brownie flavor. Exactly how it says. The Oreo cookies give it a crunch and even a more richer chocolate flavor, cocoa flavor, the milk of chocolate, 10 out of fucking 10. I'm gonna stop the discrimination, I'm gonna say, girls, <laughs> girls. This number is 08895. Call me. <laughs> this one, pretty nice. If it wasn't at the end of the taste test, I'm going, I would give them a 9, but right now I'm gonna give them 8.5. They all like the chocolate actually. What? The filling was okay, but the chocolate wasn't... 7.5. Everybody from Hungary right now hates you. Yay! This one was very nice. I love the texture. I love the... Not crunchiness, but there was something that you can chew on. 8. This one was very nice. 9. This one, 9.5. Even though it was crazy sweet, even for me. This one gets a 9 because I love the texture. But it's not white chocolate. And this one, um, it has a super nice strawberry flavor, but I don't like this type of chocolate. So I'm gonna give it, again, a 7. And guys, now I know that you're gonna hate us, but I plan on not opening those packets yet. I'm sure they're delicious, but I don't think they're gonna be that much different from what we've had. And we've had a strawberry and a cherry flavor of this. Not from Pilota, but don't hate us for not trying them right now. He's kind of sick of chocolate and he's about to go puke, so I decided I'm not gonna open them just for me. So yeah. So okay guys, this was the video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to drop a like. Comment down below if you get any of those things that we've tried. And which is your favorite? Do you love coconut like Greg? He said he loves it, but now he's sick of it. Subscribe so you don't miss the next video. Click the bell. So you get the notification and say bye to my brother. Bye. <laughs> bye.